I suppose you could say we're a little bit of a sounding board. So uh, we belong to institutions uh, that can really make use of um, the, uh, the output of the, of the MIGNEX uh, research project. So uh, I'm with the International Organization for Migration, so obviously um, anything to do with migration development and exploring that nexus is going to be of huge interest to us and to our stakeholders. So sort of more specifically, our role is, well, we can, we can comment on some documents if we wish. Um, we give feedback on um, how useful uh, we think uh, the different deliverables can be. Um, we can uh, also do some advocacy and uh, publicity uh, for the project. I think, uh, I think I speak for all of us on the board that we, uh, we're strong believers in the importance um, and the innovation of this project. It covers uh, 13 countries, is it 12? It's 12 or 13, I should know. Uh, but four of them happen to be in the region I cover. So uh, Ghana, Guinea, Nigeria, and Cabo Verde. Um, and I believe that's probably one of the reasons I was invited to join the board um, is because I'm, I'm knowledgeable on uh, of that region. It's hugely important. Um, I think it goes without saying that migration is um, front and center <laughs> of European politics and European elections. Um, uh, but it's also true that in many developing countries, it's a major issue affecting development. Um, and we talk about a nexus because, you know, there's the impact of migration on development and, and vice versa. And of course, it can be positive, it can be negative. Um, and uh, one of the main objectives of this research um, is, to, uh, is to ultimately, we hope, influence more uh, coherent policies uh, in both destination and uh, origin countries uh, to, to try and ensure that development, um, that migration contributes to development. Now, it's also very timely, a year, uh, a year ago, almost exactly, the Global Compact uh, on Migration was adopted. Um, and again, migration development is very much front and center of the GCM, along with uh, human rights protection and, and many other issues. They have to work together. Uh, and yes, both of them have to, um, have to focus on it. Um, and you know, a lot of um, uh, development agencies um, do, uh, do consider migration in their, in their strategies. But it's also true um, that uh, there's politics involved and uh, it might not be stated explicitly too often, but there can increasingly be some conditionality on receiving development aid based on how receptive a country is to, for example, readmitting their nationals. Uh, once a year, there is this consortium meeting, um, and one day of the three days, I believe it is, um, it, there's participation by <clears throat> members of the end user board, and then we have one session uh, with the um, uh, just between the board and the team leaders, uh, where we can give sort of specific feedback on um, on, on our ideas, um, how we think. Uh, how we think the project is going and so forth. So it's a great opportunity to, to stay abreast, um, to learn uh, a bit more in detail about the methodologies, about the plans, um, about how, how the project is advancing. Uh, but there's very good communication between, um, and this, this came out at our meeting last night, uh, between uh, the MIGNEX um, project management and the board in terms of sort of clear, com clearly communicating on a regular basis. Um, so I think, uh, I mean, I feel very much part of this project, if you will. Um, and I feel very, uh, very, um, how should I say, I have a minor role, but um, I, I feel part of any success that, um, that I know it's going to have.